Oh, yeah. What's up, guys? Again, uh, this is the next morning. As you guys can see, it looks like I just woke up. So excuse the morning face. And also excuse this damn growth on my nose. Woke up, got a damn pimple on my nose. But anyway, um, let me get my head together. <laughs> I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna get the, my little painting cardboard that I usually use to put on the ground and paint. It's like 50 degrees out here too, y'all. So I don't like, I, I love the cold, but I'm Florida and St. Tomian at heart. So we used to like the nice warm weather, but up where I stay at in Florida, it gets really cold. Like it's like 50 degrees. And for other people that's like, ah, what's 50 degrees? But for me, motherfucker, it's, <laughs> Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and pick up the these and I'm going to place them outside because I do have some sunny area right there that I can put it in. Um, I got to go in the car because that's why I left the paint. Um, the uh, primer, the paint and all that good stuff. I left all that stuff in the car. So I'm going to pull that out right now. Also, I found some a little a little bit of the remaining paint that I used for my A pillars. And I figured, you know what, let me just go ahead and like, you know, spray those as well. Um, just to kind of give it a more of a uplift, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna spray some of these with the remaining little, I got this same exact paint, the same, same, same exact paint that I bought at AutoZone in the car. So I'm gonna use the ones that I had left when I was originally doing these and just kind of go over it. Because I see there's like an area right here. It's kind of like, I don't know. Like I say, that's not come, that's not dust or anything. I guess that's just it was hit by something and it just kind of made a, a marking on it. So I'm just gonna go over it again with that as well, with the remaining paint on that. Nothing. I'm not gonna do it too heavy either. I'm just gonna just do it like that. But let me get the other paint out of the car and let me start setting up for the other paints on the other pieces. So let's go, y'all. All right, guys. As you can see, I kind of laid all the little micro pieces, small pieces from the uh, the rear pieces from the um, seat belt, um, that BS card holder that I'm never gonna use. All these little small pieces are gonna get completely painted black. I have my paint right there. Um, and because it's cool, another little side trick that you guys can do, I didn't put it on camera because I was doing it on the side. Um, take a heat gun um, and put it on the actual can. Um, especially when it's even even if it's not cold it's, it's just good practice to take a heat gun to the paint so that it doesn't like do that spurt out thing you know when you when you initially spray it so you want to take a heat gun to it just kind of go around it a few you know maybe 10 seconds or so and just kind of go around it shake it up and then do it again put some heat to it that way the paint can actually be um, a lot softer um, it doesn't come out with that initial spurt that uh, most paint has so that's a little side trick. I got the side panels right here to the side and I've already painted the, uh, with the, remember I told you guys in the beginning that I have the paint, uh, some extra paint that I had from the side panels, the first eight pillars that I had. I painted those already. That came out nice as you can see. So that's super deep black. Um, so now I'm gonna get the rest of these other parts painted um, and I'll be back showing you guys how uh, the process. So let's do that. see they're painted now this is not painted yet with the uh fabric and vinyl paint paint i've actually painted these with the uh sandable black primer so they got like a matte finish to it but it's only so that the, the you know the vinyl and fabric uh paint can actually kind of like adhere and stick to it um because on hard plastic pieces like you know these it's just gonna after a while um if they keep getting touched by things they're gonna you know the paint is actually gonna you know come off so i put the sandable primer on all the plastic pieces even i even did it on the uh the visor a little bit just so it can stick to it you know nothing too crazy just kind of just you know put some paint on this so it can stick to it but that's pretty much what i got right now i'm gonna let this dry a little bit then i'm gonna go in with the uh the vinyl paints and i'm gonna start getting this prepped up to the to get ready to sand to put some of the sandable primer on it as well so go all right as y'all guys can see
obviously <laughs> I've pretty much done maybe a quarter I think of what I wanted to do with the uh, headliner. I still got a ton to do, which I'm going right now to, you know, to AutoZone to uh, get some more paint so I can kind of finish it off. But everything else, guys, looks amazing. Everything else, like, like really looks nice. I got to go over one more coat with the uh, on that visor, but everything else is painted black from that cream color you guys saw. So I'm gonna pick up two more of the uh, vinyl and fabric paint and uh probably another primer just to have and i'm thinking maybe one more other thing i actually need to get a, a fuse tapper as well for the car so once i get that uh go over some more with the paint i think i might just get three three vinyl paints just to be on the safe side with this honestly um but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and do that and the next probably the next show when i show you guys it'll, i'm probably i'm losing light because it's like after four right now but uh, probably the next time I show you guys it, it'll probably be in the garage with the garage closed and a nice light inside so you guys can physically see everything. But for right now, this is how it looks. It's looking, looking pretty dope. But I still got a lot more work to do, guys. So let's go. All right, guys. As you can see, <clears throat> I was able to finish off the headliner completely. I mean, it's deep black, as you guys can tell. Was able to do all the little interior pieces and I mean that's that's all looking dope and OEM ish <laughs> so I mean that's it's there you know what I mean it's done um the next part of this entire process though is definitely trying to put you know all the pieces back but before I even get to putting the pieces back and everything like I told you guys um the next video from this video is probably going to be the process of drilling you know the holes in and counting them and marking them uh i don't know if i'm going to do that in one video again i want to show you guys the step-by-step -step process of this entire thing so that you can have a definitive uh video because I i've looked around and i've seen a lot of these videos where people are doing kind of you know the same thing on their you know, all these different other cars. And, you know, they give like an 11, 12 minute video and I get it, you know, the people attention span can only last for so long. But when you, when you cut stuff in video, especially something that's very uh, step-by-step-ish, you're gonna run into issues where you're gonna be like, well, well, well where, did, where did this go? How do you do this? You, you, you skip over parts because you're trying to, fit all of it into a 10 minute, nine minute video. And I get it, you know, people just want to see the end result, but I'm, I'm trying to teach people. Matter of fact, I'm learning in the same way that, you know, you're learning you know, to do that. I, like I've, I've never done this before. I've only working off of seeing people, seeing some instructions online and just saying, screw it, just do it. You know what I mean? But yeah, that's the, that's the process right there, guys. I got the seat to put back in, but before any of this stuff goes back in the car, I gotta get, gotta get it in. So I got the drill ready. That's gonna be for the next video, how I'm gonna plot it out and go from there. So let's close out the video. So, um, like I say, guys, with that being said, you see it, got it all together. I think um, for the next video, uh, again, I, the lights are kind of put there for me to kind of drill in and everything like that. I don't know if I want to go as far as like, I've seen people even hinted like, oh, won't you do like a constellation? You know, I've seen people write in other people's comments, you know, do a do an actual real constellation like in the stars and that'd be dope. At this point, I just want to do it. <laughs> um, but at the same token, I don't want to ever have to do this again. <laughs> so I may go in and do like a constellation type thing and look up online, seeing kind of where constellations are and but i just want to do it <laughs> i just really just want to drill 250 holes put them shits in there seal it up call it a day that's what i want to do um but yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys enjoyed this little series that i'm doing because probably won't be another one like it <laughs> um yeah hope you guys enjoyed like comment share please i would like i would like that for a lot of my 
loyal commenters. You know who you are. I love y'all guys, man. Y'all guys are like family to me because even if I don't hit as much people as I really want, the fact that I have loyal people commenting, liking my videos like you guys, and you guys know who you are. Like, I think Rovin, please if I'm butchering your name, Rovin and New Numa. You guys are my guys. Even if I make videos for the next months and it's only you guys commenting, I'm loving that. Like, I'm always willing to help anybody. So definitely giving you guys a shout out. So thank you so much for always watching my videos and always staying tuned to when I'm dropping videos. I really, really thank y'all from the deepest part of my heart. I really, cause this is a lot of work to put in for these videos. So, um, and if you're a new watcher, go ahead and subscribe, man. It makes no sense just coming back and watch, just subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're notified of when I'm dropping videos. All right, so all that being said, as I always say, Please be grateful, love each other. It's fucked up times we living in, excuse my French, but we gotta kind of push through it. 2021 is around the corner. Lord willing, please let it be better. Please. Guys, I love y'all. Stay driven. One.